Binomial distribution is the name of the heading. We have to see the definition of binomial distribution. Now let x be the random variable which we are talking about and we have n different trials. So for n trials and r successes, we have the formula of binomial distribution as ncr p raised to the power r q raised to the power n minus r where r belongs to whole numbers p and q both should be greater than 0 and these add up to 1. Now let's know the terminology what these are belonging to. Now n, r, p, q these are into picture right. So n is the number of trials the total number of trials is your n r is the number of successes p is the probability of success and q is the probability of failure so this is regarding the binomial distribution. Now we will be using this a lot because there are many questions which can be solved with ease with this formula. We have to make sure that the probability of success and the probability of failure both add up to 1 because the probability cannot be greater than 1. The other thing, this is actually related to dichotomous alternatives because there is one success thing that we are talking about, one failure thing, nothing more than that hence these add up only to 1. One more thing into picture is that what is the probability distribution like? So if I have to take the probability distribution, so if we have 0, 1, 2 and so on up till n. Now for 0, what you say is that this is regarding 0 successes. So r is 0, so it becomes n c 0, p raised to the power 0, q raised to the power n. Similarly, when you have r is 1, so this becomes n c 1, p raised to the power 1, q raised to the power n minus 1 and so on. So hence it can be expanded like that. Now to, the more, to know more about this topic, let's see the next video which is based on a problem based on binomial distribution and Bernoulli trials.